Hello, I'm Jack Lee from INSPIRE. I would like to introduce the new migration of virtual machines from Wimera to OpenStack. The content of my speech consists of two parts. The first part is the demand from cross-cloud migration, describing market demand and technology trend. The second part includes the current situation of INSPIRE in cloud operation system and the new migration project practice of Wimera to OpenStack. Let's start with the virtualization market. Wimera is the undisputed leader in the virtualization market, both in terms of functionality, performance, and stability. Many industries in China use Wimera virtual machines to host their application such as the finance. Back to OpenStack. According to IDC, the global OpenStack services market is projected to reach 8 billion by 2023, with a compound growth rate of 29% to 2017 to 2023. At present, the vast majority of mainstream cloud platform in China, such as Inspire, Tencent, Huawei, are built by OpenStack. OpenStack's feature, such as open source, standardized North and South API, has also become the gathering standard of communication, finance, and other industries. It can be said that OpenStack has become the de facto standard for the cloud platforms. In addition, with the development of OpenStack platform and the QM virtualized technology, and the gradual optimization and the functions and the performance, OpenStack can completely match Umura in terms of function and the performance. As a result, Many industries in China are gradually switching virtual machines from Wimera to OpenStack. In the second part, let me introduce the online migration function of INSPA in cloud operation system virtual machines from Wimera to OpenStack. At present, many vendors on the market provide offline migration from Wimera to OpenStack, but they need to shut down for migration. Many operations will be allowed, resulting in long business interruptions, and many operations are prone to meet operations. Therefore, we provide online one-click migration function. On the basis of shorting the business interruption process as much as possible. Provide automatic and what we saw migration. First, I will introduce the Inspire in cloud operation system. We launched the in cloud strategy in 2009. We started with the management of Wimmer virtual machines. In 2015, we established OpenStack open as the core. It has become a comprehensive platform with OpenStack, containers, big data, cloud management, etc. In cloud OpenStack products introduced and enhanced 20 more 24 modulars in the community and self developed 12 modulars. At present, it has the characteristics of three high, three integration, and two intelligent. In terms of high performance, we have enhanced from the underlying virtualization layer like QM. IO path, etc., to the platform la layer like a database, messenger queen, 
and the web access layer. After our or customer performance test, we found that the performance is not weaker than we were. In terms of high efficiency, last year we conducted the world's largest single cluster test based, test based on the Rocky version, which was optimized in terms of large scale, high concurrency, and high density, and completed the development of 500 nodes in one day while managing um, 20,000 watch machines and a concurrent 2,000 watch machines. No pressure on the platform. In terms of high availability, it uh, is currently pos possible to achieve high availability on all platforms. The control plane is based on each proxy and keep alive to achieve high availability of competency. And the database is based on gallery to achieve database activity needs. The computing plane is based on Mascari and console to achieve multi-plane sensing. When a computing load fields, Node watcher machines can be quickly migrated to other available nodes. Within five minutes, evacuate 180 watcher machines. When key process such as no computer field, it can be auto uh, medically since and restart. The network layer can realize the multi-plane sensing based on matrix judgment to determine whether the water machine is evacuated. Manage network failures and water machines when business storage network is normal can operate normally. In addition, in order to ensure the large scale failure, large scale failure, and virtual machines with the business storage network is normal, can op operate normally. In addition, in order to ensure the large scale failure of data center, the fuel mechanism is self developed and the evacuation stops when the number of water machines evacuation failure reaches the threshold. In terms of integration, the platform can provide water machines, bare metal and containers resource as, at the same time and can manage OpenStack, WinBra and a public cloud environment at the same time to achieve unified management and unified scheduling. It can prove the big data cluster and AI training inference cluster with one click. In terms of intelligence, in-cloud operation system provides an AI training and a raising platform. Support testing flow, PyTouch, MXNet, Confi, and other AI frameworks. In addition, it uh, introduces AI ops based on time series model. It can infer the time when the cluster resource capacity which the bottlenecks. It also provides the root cause analysis, one key health check, and other functions. First, we analyze the difficulties of new migration. The first is disk data reading. Some migration tools need to install proxy software in the virtual machines 
and obtain disk data through the proxy software. But this will cause intrusion to the user's business water machines and does not meet the security requirement of some customers. This is an agentless way to read virtual machines data without um, marking any changes to the source virtual machine. The second is the dynamic acquisition and disk data, disk change data. Because we are migration online, the original virtual machine is still running during the migration process. When new disk data may be generated, how to obtain this part of data? The third is the acquisition of memory cache data. During migration process, there will be data in memory cache of the original virtual machine that has not been written to the disk. How to, about the consistency of memory and disk data? The fourth is the consistency of IP and MAC address before, the, before and after migration. Some applications will bind the IP or MAC addresses. So the migrated virtual machines need to be consistently with the source virtual machine's IP and the MAC address. The fifth is the device driver. Due to device com compatibility issues, some operation system may not start normally due to driver types after migration. This problem must be resolved. Let's briefly understand the architecture of Win Cloud Manager. The Inspire Cloud Manager platform. Win Cloud Manager is a multi-cloud management platform that can be that can manage VMware, OpenStack, and a multi-public cloud platform through STK to achieve unified management and unified scheduling of resources. The first to, is to read the virtual machine's disk information without agent, including disk partition size and other metadata and disk content. We will provide the virtual disk developer kit SDK package, which support reading without install an agent the contents of the virtual disk. After in cloud manager manage in vSphere, it can read the virtual machine disk information by calling the VDD key interface. The second is the dynamic uh, percep uh, perception of changing data during the migration process. It also uses Wimura existing technology. Wimura provides change block tracking technology, which provides a basis of virtual machine incremental backup, except for the first backup, a complete backup and the transmission of the entire, in addition to VM data. Subsequent backup only need to query CBT records to obtain which can change blocks. When they only backup this change, change the blocks, which saves the time of scanning the disk and determining the changed blocks and the amount of data to be transferred, also greatly reduced. Therefore, we need to perform a full backup and the source virtual machine disk 
for the first transfer. After the migration, the subsequent dynamic data is dynamically tracked through the CBT technology and transferred through the incremental backup situation. The third is the problem of data retention the memory catch. During the migration process, the source watch machine is still running. And a part of the data is in the memory cache and has not been flushed to disk. We use numerous silent snapshot technology to make the viral system of source watch machine temporarily suspend reading and writing to the disk. During this momentary pause, the data in the op operation system cache is copied to the hard disk and then combined with VDDK to read the backup data. Migrate to a new cluster to realize that the migration of memory cache data and ensure the consistency of memory and disk data. Next is the maintenance of watch machine's IP and MAC address. You should be more aware of this issue. The VMware side opens the network card information from the SDK, including MAC and IP. The OpenStack side realized that the injection of IP and MAC addresses through cloud init and realizes the migration of IP and MAC addresses. In cloud OpenStack, in CAP solution key, this function support the creation of watch machines by spacing IP and MAC address and provide the UI and API interface. Of course, the promise is that the OpenStack in the network has been planted in advance. The next step is to maintain device driver. For example, what I will need to install drivers in guest OS some Windows operation system are not built in, so OpenStack needs to handle disk and network card drivers. When creating a migration task, we can choose the disk interface type and network card driver type to provide the best compatibility. The default is IDE and E1000, so you can choose the what I O type. How to migrate data from the disk to destination virtual machines? We need to create a migration process virtual machine in the OpenStack cluster which need to communicate with VMware and the OpenStack management network and can open the resource watch machine disk for backup and incremental backup through the VDDK API interface. After creating the migration data task, you need to create a disk of the same number and the size as the, the source watch machines in the OpenStack cluster and mount the disks to migrate agent watch machine. The proxy watch machine reads the source watch machine's data and write it to the 
cold response in OpenStack volume to realize the writing of data ensure that the business start automatic after migrating to OpenStack can be achieved through cloud init scripts, etc. Finally, let's sort out the entire migration process. The cloud management platform, in cloud management, manage, manages with fear and open stack through information such as IP, username, and password. Create a migration agent virtual machines in open stack for data migration. Creating create a migration task, select the virtual machines to be migrated, and select the information related to the OpenStack cluster, including information such as configuration, storage, and network. After the task is created, it will be automatically it will be automatically executed. Call the API to create a cloud disk machine matches, uh, create a cloud disk matches the source virtual machine in the OpenStack cluster, mount it to the proxy virtual machines, and uh, continually copy the disk data to the OpenStack volume through full and uh, incremental backup while loop copying after the incremental backup size is less than a contained threshold. The copying is stopped. The source virtual machine is suspended. The OpenStack lawyer creates the virtual machines through the volume and uh, mounting the data volume. Uh, then start a virtual machine and uh, the business start automatically complete what do you call it then complete the migration that's all thank you